Hi Sagittarius, I trust you are well and that you will have an amazing month of April. This is going to be um, your reading for the month. And um, basically I am now only doing monthlies. So feel free to check in as the month progresses on your video or also that is very important is um, to know your in your birth chart your rising moon and sun sign so you've got two cards so far um sagittarius is asking you to believe in the impossible you and your loved ones are safe so you can see what else does Sagittarius need to know for the month of April. So if you are interested in buying my Oracle decks, the, the link will be in the description box below. Um, all my social media links is in the description box below as well. Go for your dreams, Sagittarius, for the month of April. I'm just guys basically doing now your monthly affirmations to see you know what does the month have in store for you Sagittarius you've got the second chakra I honor and respect my body by giving it what it deserves to thrive I provide myself with the best of food, exercise, water, relaxation, therapeutic treatments and thoughts. So you've got the sacral chakra, the second chakra. And you have to possibly think and contemplate on honoring and respecting your body for the month of April. A certain situation, Sagittarius, is asking you possibly to take action. Um, it might be a work, love or family situation to take action. Um, let's quickly see what else. What else does Sagittarius need to know for the month of April? And then also the crystals that you see here. Um, there is a link in the description box below as well where you can buy these crystals um, and if you use my name <coughs> sorry about that if you use my name Chantal and you make contact with Nina Ganshi you will be able to receive 10% off of the crystals play have fun, celebrate, don't be too serious on yourself or possibly in a love connection. Have some playfulness in the month of April. Let's really see what does your journey card want to tell you. Like I said, this is just your monthly affirmations to give you an idea of what is going to go on in the month of April for you and how uh, can we go about to assist you um, it's asking you to believe in the impossible go for your dreams awakening ancient wisdom deep inner knowing is emerging within me so yeah, I mean you'll know best with this. There's definitely some ancient wisdom coming your way, Sagittarius. So let's really see what does your love entail for the month of April with the Universal Love Oracle deck. retreat 
and I feel with the retreat card possibly it's telling you that you and your loved one or if you are not connected to someone um, to retreat or maybe plan a weekend or a trip away from home this is my own oracle deck I've created the dream infinity oracle deck and this is basically love messages that you or your love connection wants to tell you so let's quickly see what does Sagittarius need to know I want you I want us this is really beautiful if you are in a committed relationship or in a relationship And then for other Sagittarian people out there that is maybe not committed or um, walked away out of a relationship in the past, um, you might feel cold towards that person or they are feeling cold towards you. So um, take it how it resonates for you. Let's quickly see what does Archangel Raphael wants to tell you Sagittarius. My dog is dreaming. That's the voice of the, the noise that you're hearing. Cassie. Psst, psst. Mama. Cassie. Idruam. So, home help. Archangel Raphael. I'm going to read this for you. Dear God and Archangel Raphael. Thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept help from you, the angels and others in matters regarding my family and home. So let's quickly see um, what does the tarot have for you for the month of April Sagittarius. you've got the eight of wands and with the eight of wands this might mean traveling it might mean communication quick communication coming your way that's actioned um, through your social media through mails through your phone and like I said this might mean traveling as well what else does Sagittarius need to know okay so in your recent past you possibly had the ten of swords and this might have been regarding a love connection a family connection or a friendship connection that you possibly decided to walk away from and this is also completion of a cycle ending your well, ending of an old cycle starting something new um, and i feel this is in your recent past or it might be even in your current currently like I said, it's not going to resonate for everyone, so take it as it resonates for you. But believe in the impossible. It's asking you to believe in the impossible and go for your dreams. You've got the two of pentacles, and with the two of pentacles, you're possibly juggling a certain situation. It might be in love, family or work. And, you know, it's basically like a balancing act regarding the situation um, and it might also become tiring again you've got the six of swords you are possibly walking away or moving away from a certain situation it might be current or your recent past you also got the eight of pentacles and this is telling you that um, normally with the seven of pentacles you plant the seed and within a certain amount of time, you can basically harvest, you know, the seeds that you planted. But with the Eight of Pentacles, it's telling you to put in, you know, all the effort, um, motivation towards a certain endeavor you decide to take on. And you've got the King of Pentacles as well. And with the King of Pentacles... It's basically either you or someone within your current circle 
earth sign virgo capricorn or taurus that is going to present you with a possible opportunity or a financial offer or a job situation the energy the complete energy of the deck is the four of cups and you might feel like this now currently um, you might feel bored you might feel um, that you know a certain situation is not coming to an end um, but you'll see you are only reflecting and thinking about these cups in front of you but you are not seeing that God or the divine is presenting you with another cup a possibility an opportunity possibly so let's quickly see what did I want to do now I want to basically clarify for you the Ten of Swords. Let's quickly see why is the Ten of Swords here yeah, Sagittarius? Yeah, I mean, you know that you and your loved ones are safe. Go towards your dreams, honor and respect your body, um, eat the right foods, you know, be healthy, think healthy. Okay, with the Ten of Swords, the Six of Cups came out, and this is normally a soulmate connection or someone returning from the past that you possibly walked away from. So that is clarifying the Ten of Cups for you, Sagittarius. Um, I'm going to pull you another card on the King of Pentacles. I've, I felt the need to clarify the King of Pentacles for you. quickly see you are going to be presented with ancestral wisdom we've got the six of six of pentacles and this might put you in a charitable mood giving us giving of yourself or giving towards someone else um, you are you know in a giving mode if I can say it like that um, but also with the king of pentacles the sun came out and with the sun this is really a beautiful abundant energy because with the sun card this is the best card in the whole tarot deck and this is abundance in all forms and ways that's going to come your way in the month of april so your sagittarius i hope this could help and that you will have an amazing month ahead um please you know if you resonate with some of these information that i've provided you please come back to the video and you know check it again to ensure you know to assist you you know and helping you and guiding you going forward in the month of april so yeah thank you so much keep well bye